In this video, I'll show you how to use Google Gemini to automatically generate SRT subtitles for your video or audio files for free. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. Now, I did a video on how to use Google Gemini to automatically transcribe audio or video to text transcripts for free and it's been received really, really well. Now, somebody asked, uh, thanks, and how can I create subtext for this video with AI? You can still use Google Gemini and for this video, I'm going to be using an audio file because one, this is not perfect because what Google Gemini is doing, if you use a video, it's actually reading or looking at the video or the first frame of the video and actually transcribing what is on screen. And I'll show you why uh, towards the end of this video. So I'll click on add files and navigate to the folder with the audio file I want to use. So I have the audio and the video. But if I decide to use the video, it's going to actually read what is on the first frame of our particular uh, video. So I don't want to do that. Let's go with this and click on open. And then from here, once it's uploaded, I'm going to uh, just give it a simple prompt. Generate SRT subtitles from this audio. Uh, let me actually add accurate. And then submit going to just say just a sec it's a short file and I don't know the limit of the length so actually when you add the audio file because it cannot read the video it's going to give you a good SRT subtitle file as you can see it's giving us the basic structure of an SRT subtitle file that includes a number timestamp the text space number uh, timestamp text space and number and so on and so forth so what we can do we can copy this and then open our note editing application of choice paste in the srt and then come to file save us and then i'm going to save it as all files that is the save us type and then i'm going to choose the name i want let's say we go with this but i'm going to add uh, let's say I'm going to add dash audio dot SRT. And the reason why I've done that is so that I do have one with uh, the uh, I created initially when I was doing this particular test and all that. And I noticed when you use the video, it's actually transcribing what is in the first frame of the video. So once I do that, remember dot SRT and then save as type is all types and coding is UTF minus eight. I'll click on save and our subtitle is saved and then navigate to the folder with that particular uh, subtitle right there. Let's just open file location. And this is the video. I want now for us to check it out through the video. I'll just double click on it. It's going to open up in VLC and I'm going to right click subtitle, add subtitle. And then the one I want is the one that has a dash audio this particular one I'll click on that not this one click on open and if I play it in this video I'll show you how to change the aspect ratio of a video project in Descript welcome to this video now it's done a really good job probably you can add some more commands like the number of characters you may want per line but it has done a very good job syncing so number one take a note that if you use a video it's actually going to read the video and I can show you this because I've done it before and see what happens here. Transcribe this audio, uh, transcribe the audio in this video to text. It begins by in this video, I'll show you how to add captions to your social media videos. Guess what it does? It reads what is on the first frame of that screen because this particular section, the first section here is what is on the screen of this particular video. So take a note of that. Use audio files when you want to generate uh, SRT subtitles using Google Gemini. Don't use a video until probably they kind of work uh, around or you get the right prompt to use. This was just a very simple prompt because I actually told it transcribe the audio in this video to text. But it actually transcribed including what was on screen right there. So take a note of that. And that is why I'm saying use the uh, audio file and not the video file now sometimes i've seen it glitch out a little bit and do some random things like not append uh, like the timestamps properly for example 
here we have this dash dash and then this you just find a dash uh, and it's more or less i believe an error of sorts uh, right there i'm not sure if we can actually add some more commands and kind of say can you make it to have at least uh, a maximum line length of 38 uh, 37 characters per line and a max of two lines per subtitle block let's see if it's actually going to give us that so uh, it's actually done that but now as you can see as i've mentioned still a work in progress i'm sure uh, as we continue it's going to get better so it's actually just broken down everything as it was but now into three four lines but for the characters it's kind of done the right thing more or less uh, but that is uh, how you can actually use google gemini to automatically generate srt subtitles for your videos for free take a note of when you use a video there is that issue of the first frame is going to be transcribed especially if it has text take a note of that and then there could be some issues with uh, the subtitle uh, right there i don't know if you can actually uh, can you compile into an dot srt file for download let us see note i cannot create and compile files for download i can only provide the text of the srt file so that's okay so it's good to know that uh, that it cannot do that as of now but that is how you can use google gemini to automatically generate srt subtitles for your videos or audio files just take a note of the few issues that i mentioned and also for longer videos it may take a long time depending on the tokens available and so on and so forth that's it for this video until next time stay safe and never stop learning thanks for watching